All right, again, guys. So next video, then uh, just a bit more progress. We're still working on the the EV side of things, getting that working. Obviously, you know, we've had a bit of an issue getting the wiring sorted out, and I'm still not 100% sure on what it is. I think, uh, if you're interested, I think it's the BMS, uh, and that we've got an issue there. Um, the can lines are showing a resistance that they shouldn't have, which is different. It, so it, it should be around 60 ohms, and it's showing 40 ohms, apparently. Uh, as it's a termination point for can it should be 120 ohms uh, and basically long story short it's not right so i need to pull that out open it up have a look at it see if there's any obvious damage and maybe get a second one and try it and just see if that that helps but i think that might be the issue been through everything else been through all the wiring been through everything been through everything like 10 times um so what we thought we'd do is because we've not made a massive amount of progress that's worthwhile uh, making a video for that and we haven't quite finished the axles to show you that is we've got a bunch of old stuff that we'd filmed um, that uh, you're going to get to look at now so i got it stripped down uh, the steering box not much to it really to be honest with you they're pretty straightforward very grubby though not very nice but yeah just there's nothing to it a shaft with a worm gear on one end uh, and just a couple of extra parts it's not really that much so i'm going to get it all cleaned up um we've got little ball bearings but they all look good they're like quarter inch ball bearings uh, at the top and then that's it there's no there's no other sort of bearing uh or even bushing to be honest with you so there's nothing to it so i'm going to get this cleaned up um and get all the crud and oil and stuff off of it i'm not going to paint it i'm going to keep it like that i think because it's got some of that green on it um just get it so it's not like that uh, and get it back together again Easy. So the steering box is all rebuilt now. Um, didn't really need any core components, which I'm really surprised about. I think it's probably been rebuilt in the future, uh, in the past, sorry, because um, it's in such good condition. So filled it with uh, some swept coat grease and just given it a coat of Buzzweld uh, Zero Prep. Not painted anything, just kept it as it is and given it a good clean up. Um, so it doesn't look out of place and we're just going to get this fitted now. So I'm at the point where I want to get the throttle pedal fitted uh, in place um, and obviously this is the, the standard Nissan Leaf pedal box with brake and throttle and I don't want to use the whole thing, I just need the throttle pedal. Um, obviously it comes with its bracket work and stuff which is really helpful for us. So now I'm just going to basically just look at cutting it down, making it a bit smaller and then utilising some of these bolt hole positions to get it in the bulkhead uh, and where we want it. Going right. Yeah, with a bit of work, that'll fit, I think. It's not got much throw. Okay, so that's the pedal fitted then. So I bolted it up here using those holes, which is quite cool on, on its original mount. Obviously I've not painted it or anything. I don't know if I'll bother. Might paint it black just so it looks a bit neater, but I, I don't want to paint the pedals. I don't think, undecided. And then what I've done is I've cut the original pedal off so that the end isn't just some nasty, horrible plastic looking thing. And then we'll get the wire in to go either up and out well, it's definitely not going to go through that hole but you know we'll get it to go up there so it's a bit more stealth um, and then yeah I've just bolted the pedal to the plastic 
um, and that's it that's as good I might what I might do is adjust that so that the brake pedal and the throttle pedal are a bit more in line so I might end up just um, on that pinch bolt down there just adjusting it so that they sit even like that and it looks right all right so I'm just bolting on now the um, the input flange um, so that we've got an input into the transfer box so we can get drive from the motor um, and basically this now we've got the other two prop shafts off this is going to be the only prop shaft we need it's super short so it's going to be a custom one but it's not running at any funny angles uh, it doesn't um, particularly need a sliding joint in it or anything fancy like that um, and there's a good example so once we've got drive from the motor via this prop shaft we'll have drive to the axles um, and, uh, and we're away so I'm literally bolting this on exactly the same in fact it's a front uh, it's one of our kits and the flange is a front um, LT230 flange so it's the same and it just bolts up the same um, and that's it and so then we can tighten this nut, nut up and then we can take a measurement from there to there face to face and we've got um, a prop shaft size chances are um, because it's going to be a custom one what I might do is see what we've got in way in, 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 in a way of um, old scrap ones and sort of cut and shut one make sure it works and then probably take it to somebody like Gwyn Lewis and, and have him make a custom one for us so uh, that's all next it's about four two five face to face. Four two six. Four two six. Remember that. Just in the process of making the prop shaft that goes from the motor to the transfer box. As I said before in one of the other videos, just wanted to sort of mock one up or make one myself and then have it made properly professionally by somebody who can balance it and everything. So I've got this old prop shaft, which is the front one on the car originally. So I whipped it off and then. I'm just in the process of doing it now. So I've cut the tube there along this weld and then I've got that spigot now that, that would push straight back in there. I need to shorten this prop by 120 mil. So I'm gonna cut 120 mil out of the tube, which will be around here somewhere. And then I'll be able to push that back in, weld it up, and then I'll have a prop shaft that's uh, 400 mil long and that will work perfectly over there. So there's the prop shaft, the intermediate prop shaft fitted uh, between the motor and the uh, between the motor and the transfer box. And that's fitted. It's I did it out of one of the original, uh, like the front prop shaft that came on this. Um, so it's it's very scrap, but it works. I can move it. We'll be able to move it forward and backwards and just test the theory and then I'll be able to take that off, give it to Gwyn Lewis and say, look, I want one just like that that, that isn't knackered uh, and he'll do his thing. So you know the crack, hit the subscribe button, the like button, stick some comments in the in the thingy below down here somewhere. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna keep plodding along at these. Hopefully you like the video. We're gonna come back with uh, a lot more progress, hopefully, obviously on the, the EV side of things, hopefully have it running. The axles, uh, rear axles done, but you can't see it. Front axles, pretty much on its way, but I'm going to show you yet. Um, so yeah, check back in a little while.